Memphis okay. 28, SMU 25. Memphis makes zero sense this season. Memphis's post-game win expectancy here was uh, 77%. This was... I, I I don't I don't get it. Like Seth Hennigan came back, was thirty four out of fifty three passing, three hundred ninety two yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Memphis could not run the football. Brandon, God, I cannot remember the kid's name. He like they're a guy that they kind of rely on running the football was out for this game. But Memphis's top two rushers, uh, Weaver, ten attempts for seventeen yards, and Clark, ten attempts for fourteen yards. SMU kind of shut them down. It, 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 overall. 37 carries for 22 yards and one touchdown for Memphis on the ground. Tanner Mordecai, like, what are we doing? 19 out of 28, 262 yards, two touchdowns, one pick. And I don't, like, I don't understand what let me tell you, Let me tell you where this game just lost me completely. The M5, we get zero points until two minutes, I'm looking at two minutes, 34 seconds left in the first half. Now, the first quarter... This game is scoreless until the first half is over with. Tennessee, uh, uh, SMU scores with two minutes, 34 seconds left. Then Memphis scores with 23 seconds left. And then SMU gets a field goal with four seconds left. In two and a half minutes, we get three scores. We got no scores for almost 30 minutes. So for in, in 27 and a half minutes, zero, nothing, just a garbage football game. And I thought, I don't know what in the hell I'm watching. I have no idea. I, I no longer had faith in SU at that moment, but I also still don't trust this Memphis team. And then when Memphis comes out, scores two unanswered basically in the third quarter, I kind of think, man, that might, we're just not getting enough scoring in this game. That, that yeah. might be an insurmountable lead. Memphis scores a third time. And I think at the beginning ball. of the fourth. Yeah. That's ball game. That's ball game. Yeah, it was 28 to 10 at that point. Uh, they give up uh, a touchdown with eight and a half left, and then they give up another touchdown with five minutes and 53 seconds left to make it 28 to 25. I I just don't... Like, this is what I was worried about, right? Uh, there's all these reports that came out about Sonny Dykes, and, and he's got a contract extension that's been sitting on his desk since before the season started, and he hadn't signed it, and there's all these rumors, all this crap going on, and you never know how that affects a team and right. and for whatever reason, like I, I don't know that that's why they lost this game. Maybe Memphis is a better football team than them. I doubt I, I it. I don't know if that's it, but I do think guys are eighteen year olds are capable of having bad games. You know, eighteen to twenty yeah. year olds are volatile individuals, especially eighteen to twenty year old dudes. And Tanner Mordecai didn't look like the the guy that we have seen for the first five six weeks of the season. Yes, yes, hundred percent. He looked bad. I don't know if it was play calling. He did not look comfortable in that football game at all. Yeah, he never did. Never did. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.